hello everyone so in this video i'll be walking through on how to actually improve your ui designs so that's one way that i can suggest you is to actually making use of auto layout feature in figma that's already been built in so let's look at the auto layout feature and there you go so basically auto layout is like a property where you can add to either frames or components to any sort of groups and it lets you to create designs that can grow to fill or shrink to fit and reflow as their contents change and this is great when you need to add new layers accommodate longer text strings or maintain alignments as your designs evolve and there are many ways to use auto layout so let's see you each and every single way that we can actually make use of this auto layout and let's go to the first one the first way to make use of auto layout feature is by creating buttons that can grow or shrink as you edit the text label so as you can see here i have an example on this particular page here and this particular button will be having text label like this and what you can also do let's say if i would like to add more text for example let's say please please submit so as you can see here whenever when i edit or add more text to this particular button this particular button also grows together with the length of the text so this is one of the way we can actually make use of auto layout and this is a really good way since we are able to save time on creating multiple buttons that can that can have different text labels and different functionalities and this is one way we can actually improve and i'll also be making sure that we able to learn on how to create like this so let's get started by just i like to walk you through how to how i was able to do like this so first of all i like to put it this aside here and the first thing is that I will have to take the frame tool like this, just a simple frame tool like this, and then I will be making a simple rectangle like this. And this particular rectangle is what we're going to be making use of this particular auto layout here. This, so in this case, I will have to click on auto layout. And once it has been clicked, as you can see here, this is already your button. And this particular button is going to be having some radius of 25. And then like this, let's make sure that we happen to have this alignment to be centered. Well, let's make this the alignment to be vertical direction and the next thing is that what we can also do let's change this color and the next thing is i like to make sure that we are able to add some text something like so in this case i'll have to like I'll write my text here in this case i'll say submit and just want to make sure i need to make it to be smaller like this and not to be very much it should be able to fill inside here and the next thing is that let's you need to just taking this and you can just directly put it inside here and there you go now you can as you can see here this particular button is able to shrink its size according to the length of the text so this is what i meant by auto layout we don't actually need to manually change the length of the buttons when you have different length of text so this is how one this is one way we can actually improve our ui designs and let's go to the next one the next way where we can actually make use of auto layout is by having a list of items and that items must be able to easily add it, remove or hidden. And that's the reason why we're also using auto layout feature to this particular list feature as well. So as you can see here, I have also happen to have a list of cards here. And I can actually make sure that I'm, I'll be, let's say if I were to like, this is like arranged vertically. And what I can also do is that I can actually make it arranged horizontally. At the moment, as you can see here, this is uh, already arranged in horizontal direction so let's let's say if we like to make this list to be in vertical direction so you click on vertical direction like this okay so it's that's how easy it is and also the next thing is that i can also like create a new item just like copying this and just copy paste and there you go it just adds up to the last part of the list here and this also works for vertical direction also just seem to be able to uh, copy and paste and then it just keeps on adding to the bottom like this so this is the best way with, where we can actually make use of auto layout feature as well when we are actually making you make, creating a list of items and let's say if i were to hide let's say if i were to like hide one of the list here i got like one let's let's say i were to hide the first one here which is this let's say i can hide this i can actually just keep on coming to the person like, like this yeah i can just like hit i mean even when the first is hidden i'm still able to make them to be arranged in a like it will replace the first one like this something like this for example let's say if i were to uh, remove this and this one will be just removed like this or like this and this is how one way we can actually also make use of auto layout feature and let's i'm gonna also going to show you how are we able to make something like this so in this case i'll have to take just one of this list here and as you can see here i've only happened to have one list here this one particular item here i like to make it uh like a let's see if i have two of this for example let's say i like to copy this i need to copy this and paste it like this right now i have two item two items here so i like to make i like to select both of them first 
okay once i select both of them i need to make sure that i will i must be able to make them into a group first so i just we need to click on group selection and once you have already created a group here we can directly add auto layout like this and, and then now you can, you can see here now they have already been added to auto layout you can it's like already you are able to make the list to be using the auto layout property like this for example let's say i can do as simple as it so this is how we are able to make use of auto layout for the second feature which is which is for list and let's go to the third part of this particular auto layout feature and the third benefit of using auto layout is that you are able to arrange things very neatly and as neat as possible so that the front end developers where you will be handing this particular project to will be having a good time on working on your project so that's the reason why we are also using making use of auto layout and as you can see here one week, one thing we can do is that let's I'll take this example of this particular card here and I'll have to take this and I'll have to place it right here and as you can see here all these things that you see inside here are arranged in a proper way and as you can see here, this is there are two main rows here for example this is the first row and this is the second row and the first row have like two separate rows as well and, also, and in the second row we have two columns here and this is one way we can actually make it really good looking because we are actually using auto layout too and this will be able to save your dev the, the front end developers time a lot so how are we able to do something like this let's that let's let's go to let i'll like to create like another frame here in this case not to create a simple frame like this okay and I'll be just be having the same width as this also 327 so in this case I like to make sure that I, I like to add some corner radius and some gradient to fill the gap fill the background we go now we have already created the background so I like to make this into the auto layout property and in this case the first thing I like to add is this particular this particular text here the first text which is persona I like to create a text here like let me create like that called persona and I like to make it to be smaller there you go so right now I can actually add it inside here but then I don't want it to be very very small either so I have to have this particular height so in this case I have to make this to be uh, instead of hugging instead of hug this feature here I mean sorry this feature we can actually put a fix, fixed height like this and we can actually make it bigger and we can actually make this the width also to be fixed as well instead of hugging so in this case we can put fixed and we can just copy the exactly, exactly how it has been how we have used in the previous card here so 373 373 like this and there you go now as you can see here now your now your card is actually having a, a padding of 10 here so in this case i have to add more padding and there you go now i just added like around like 25 padding or something like this and i have to increase the size of this particular text also just like just a bit for example like 16 and i have to increase the size of this text also and there you go so also the next thing what we can also do is that let's we can add some bottom text here. So this in this case, I have to copy and paste something like this. But but then as you can see here, this two are actually not arranged in a vertical, but this is arranged in a horizontal manner. So in this case, I'll have to click on vertical direction like this. So I'll have to also make sure that this this two these two rows are actually belongs to the same group. So I'll have to make this and this to be in the same group, for example, group selection. And within here, I can also add some some spacing between the groups, between the text like this. So in this case, instead of I like to just like to make it zero or or less than about like about like three should be enough. And I like to paste some text to fill up this one. I have like to paste it right here. And of course, I need to make sure that the, the text is actually changed according to this particular size. In this case, I have to use a regular size, it's going to be around like twelve. And there you go. Right now, we can actually make this. Yeah, let's change the color to white. And this is going to be white as well. Okay. And there you go now right now as you can see this two this two taxis actually belongs to one group by the way this group actually having its own auto layout here in this case we can make it like this and you can also like add spacing between the items like this so that we are able to easily add more items with spacing between the items so this is the first row here you can also have another row here the second row which we can actually fill up with a button like this and a text like this so in this case i like to, I like to add yeah i like to copy this button here and I have to paste it just like simple button here. But as you can see here, if I were to if I were to like have this button and I'd like to add this particular button as well, date as well. Let's say if I, if I were to paste it like this, as you can see here it's like actually going to the bottom here. So that's one way we can actually make this because because we actually added it to be arranged vertically. So this is why this is the reason why it's going to the bottom here. But I would like to have this to be on the same row. So I like to make this and this to be in the same group, for example, group selection. 
and once the group has been selected i have to make this particular 2d auto layout as well and in this case i like to have this to be aligned horizontally like this and then and the art also like to make sure that i have to place this position here or the buttons position to be here and the next thing is i like to make this to be fill the whole space of this, of this cut so like this so in this case i have to make it like this but as you can see here this button is not actually coming to this particular here so that's one way you can actually do is that let's let's create let's click on this particular group here and then we can actually go to our auto layout option and instead of spacing mode back we can actually add space between and now you can, you can see here the button is actually filling up the whole space so this is how one way you can actually make use of auto layout for your particular card this makes your ui design process far more efficient and gives more value to your client here and this is a few steps and few designing tips that I can actually share with you guys. So this is this is one way to actually make your process of UI UX designing far more efficient and quicker. And thank you guys for watching this video where I've covered about some basics of auto layout. And let's catch up on the next one. Thanks.